This is Norika Nikolai talking about the Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate case. She is a Romanian lawyer and politician, an independent who previously belonged to the National Liberal Party and before that the Christian Democratic National Peasants Party. She was a member of the Romanian Senate for Clarkon County from 2000 to 2008 and a member of the European Parliament between 2009 and 2019. So she is legit. Now let's see, let, now let's see what she have to say about the whole annotate and Tristan Tate issue. Let's see. Narika Nikolai, a former member of the European Parliament and former prosecutor, she was also nominated in 2008 for the position She's of Minister good. of Justice of Romania. Mrs. Norika Nikolai, you are paying close attention to the international actuality and also you are a former prosecutor. What do you think about this case so far and what is your opinion on it after what you have heard here? I have not only watched the unfolding of this case on your TV broadcast, but followed this case closely as it made its debut at the end of the year during the holidays. Initially I thought it's a cover-up for something. But from what I can see, from a criminal point of view, everything looks like an improvisation, even the judge has excluded the rape accusation, as what the prosecution had on file wasn't sufficient evidence to convince anyone it was rape, so the judge asked for more evidence. So according to her, the judge has already excluded the rape accusations. Wow. And regarding the human trafficking accusation, obviously a very sensitive topic for USA who is monitoring human trafficking, it is quite improvised, rigged. My opinion is that the authorities in Bucharest simply executed an order. I think it's an operation. More important is to find out what was actually the main activity conducted by the Tate brothers in Romania. Because in no case the hundred million dollars, others say it could be more, personal wealth cannot come from video chat. Of course, Adina is perfectly right. I haven't seen any people being deprived of liberty, being coerced to participate in such activities. Rather, they are some figures who have a certain influence, especially in the United States and Great Britain, who are against neo-Marxist formulas, they have all kinds of radical ideas. Sure, we can agree with them or not, but it seems that someone has given an order to make the Tate brothers disappear from their capacity to influence the public, especially Andrew, because he's the most vocal and has a certain influence on a significant number of the public. Tristan is calmer, so I'd rather think it's a workplace feud, a matter that doesn't belong to us, but to others, but it was executed in Bucharest. She is completely agreeing with what I was thinking the reason why they are in jail. It is not because they are some rapists or human traffickers or anything like that. It is because of their influence, especially Andrew Tate. It is because what they said, what they stand for. And a lot of people who is in power don't like it. A lot of powerful countries don't like it. USA, UK, as she mentioned. And Romania just exposed to the world that how corrupt they are, how corrupt they are. Just bribe them, pressure them, and they will put you in jail for no reason. That's, that's what I think. That's what she thinks. And she is a very, very good powerful Romanian lawyer and politician. So, free date. <laughs>